You know, I get asked all the time, what kind of fluorocarbon fishing line do I use? And I'm going to tell you guys right off the bat, I use Sunline. Now, before I get into this and all of the stuff, before I used Sunline years ago, I would use Seagar, Trilene, Berkeley, other stuff. I always thought that Sunline was too expensive or a gimmick, and it turns out that it is not now, I mean, what I want you guys to do is if you're new to fluorocarbon or you've never tried it, I want you to, to give it a try and I want you to experience it before you knock it because fluorocarbon has less stretch than monofilament. Um, fluorocarbon can still stretch 20 to 30%, but you got to realize that fluorocarbon is more dense than monofilament and fluorocarbon fluorocarbon, excuse me, is going to transmit energy better than monofilament does. Now, if you get a pack like Berkeley Vanish and you look on the package and you see the little, uh, the little picture illustration of the sun and the water and you're wondering what is that, that is because fluorocarbon has close to the same light refractive properties as water. A lot of people say the fish cannot see it. Uh, I don't know if that's exactly true. I mean, but it is more sensitive than monofilament and fluorocarbon works great with moving baits uh it works great with um crankbaits especially deep diving crankbaits because if you use a lighter line you can get that bait to go deeper than what the bait says if you use a heavier line you can keep it higher in the water column if you're fishing around cover um the only thing i will say about fluorocarbon is i do not use fluorocarbon for top water now why is that that is because fluorocarbon sinks now i'm going over this all on the top of my head and this whole video is going to be um 10 or 11 minutes it's going to be off the top of my head and no cuts so if i make a mistake or whatever i mean i'm just kind of doing this as i go so what we're going to do is let's just forget that i ever put all this here in the first box that i grabbed and show you that i showed you was sunline fc sniper in the eight pound test that is the line that i use on my spinning rods for my jerk baits and i also use it with 10 and 20 pound test braid as a leader with a swivel or a connection knot, but you guys know that I really don't do the connection knot. I do more of the swivel. So uh, finesse fishing, um, live bait fishing, drop shot, Ned rig, you name it, spinning rod, I'm going to use eight pound test. Now we'll get into the Berkeley Vanish in a minute. Um, all over the place, crankbaits and chatterbaits. I do like a 14 pound test and I also do for crankbaits more than moving baits, like 16 pound test. Now, if you're wondering why is that, that is because, well, if you look on the box for the Sunline Super, you're going to notice the diameter is 130 and it's 14 pound test. On the Sniper, the diameter is also 130. Okay, but Sniper is a little more expensive. Uh, don't quote me, but I do believe, it's, uh, I think it's like 26 to 30 dollars depending on where you go i know it's probably going to be cheaper online and the super is 15 or 16 dollars in store but you do have line that is bigger in diameter or excuse me that is bigger in pound test and breaking strength but it's smaller in diameter but you don't lose any sensitivity strength or tensile strength or anything like that so to further break that down what i'm going to do is i'm going to take a box of the Sunline Super Fluorocarbon. And if you guys are wondering what is more sensitive, the Sniper or the Super, honestly, it's close. The Sniper is gonna be more sensitive, but I do use the Super more often because it is cheaper. And I did see the other day that they do carry it at Dick's Sporting Goods, and it's actually only a dollar more than the Berkeley Vanish, which we're going to get into in a minute. So I went to Cabela's and I picked up a pack of the Strike King Tor Grade Fluorocarbon. Okay, you'll notice on the package it says UV resistant, which all fluorocarbon is, sensitive and low stretch. Like I said at the beginning, it does have less stretch than monofilament, but braid is going to have no stretch, whereas fluorocarbon is going to have a little bit. Like I said, it's still going to stretch 20 to 30 percent. But anyway, 100 percent high performance fluorocarbon, optimized for maximum fishability. Now we're going to flip the package over, and you will see that it says that statement again. It says signed winder. Sidewinder spooling tool, uh, P2 perfect winding process made from Japanese material. Now this line was $30. And if you look, I do believe the tool inside the box, you can put it on a flat surface and you can spool your line anywhere, which would alleviate some of the problems from using a line spooling box or a pencil on a cardboard box. But the only issue that I have, and I'm not knocking this, Strike King is an amazing company. I've been using their baits longer than any other companies. For lures and baits than anything, 
and I'm not sponsored by them, but just take a look. Okay, 20 pound test, clear, 200 yards, the diameter, see it says 0 0.017. Well, you go here to Sunline Super, and it says 0 0.015. I mean, this doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the striking line, but the Super, which isn't even their best line, is still a smaller diameter per braking strength than the Strike King Tour Grade. So if you get a Sunline Super in 20 pound test, it's gonna be close to the same diameter as a regular 15 pound test. Now, if you look, like I said, I'm trying to find it over here, 20 pound test, like I said, 17, 20 pound test, 15. The diameter on this is 16, so it is in between these. Now, again, not, not talking crap. I, I have to spool this up, I have to try it. I'm going to throw a lot of crankbaits, Texas rigs, jigs, swim jigs on this. Of course, no top water, but like I said, kind of all over the place. Um, crankbaits, chatterbaits, moving baits, 14 or 16, all this. Now, there, a cool little story for you guys is one day when I was fishing the river, I had one of my Corrado reels spooled up with, I think it was super fluorocarbon, and I backlashed really bad. And the only car, the only car, the only line that I had in the car was the Berkeley Vanish fluorocarbon, okay? And I wasn't too excited. I was like, yeah, it might help if I take the tape off. I was like, I don't wanna use this fluorocarbon. This sucks, blah, blah, blah. Well, you're gonna notice that over time, the more you practice with fluorocarbon, the better you get. And I, you know, sometimes there, you might even notice that there's a little bit of a break-in period with the fluorocarbon because you know, fluorocarbon is great for a lot of things, but I do know that anglers have a tough time with it when they first start because of the memory. It has a lot of memory. It coils a lot. A lot of people will refer to it as cable. And I do have people ask me, why do you use 20 pound test? You're not going to be fighting a 20 pound bass. Well, it's not because of what I'm fishing for. It's where I'm fishing and what I'm throwing. I mean, I will only take 20 or 25 fluorocarbon so far into flipping and pitching before I go to braid, but you can do that with this line. But anyway, I've just kind of been all over the place. I mean, basically, I'm literally just going off the top of my head and telling you guys this, but this is the fluorocarbon that I use, Sniper and Super, and when I don't have that, I will use Berkeley Vanish. I mean, for the price, it's not bad. Do you have to have fluorocarbon this expensive? No, is it required? No, but I need you guys to do me a favor. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and hit the thumbs up button. Maybe consider subscribing and also let me know. I know you guys are very experienced in fishing. Well, at least a lot of you guys are. Let me know in the comment section below. Have you tried the Strike King Tour Grade fluorocarbon? I almost said tungsten. Do you like it? Is it as good as it claims to be? Because I don't know. This stuff right here, like I switched from Seaguar and other brands to Sunline. And like I said, I use the Vanish when I don't have the Sunline. But this is my brand right here. And I've actually had a lot of people doubt the Sunline Sniper and the Super and even the Assassin or the Shooter. And then they go and they try it and they say that they like it and they thank me and blah, 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 blah. But anyway, like I said, leave me a comment. You ever tried this? Do you like it? And what are your thoughts about Sunline and all that? I mean, personally, I don't have anything against any fluorocarbon company, but I do prefer, prefer these and I want to try these. So, like I always say, thank you so much for watching this video. It's This is going to be one of the most basic videos I've ever done. Just sitting here rambling off facts, things that I know, and talking at the table. Well, yeah, at the table about the fluorocarbon. I'm interested in that. Strike King makes amazing baits, so why shouldn't they make amazing fluorocarbon? But anyway, I'm going to have the line and the price and everything that I use in the description. And then underneath that, like I always say, you're going to see Matt Goes Fishing, Tokes Outdoors, Bass Fishing Videos, and Fishing Playlists. So I cannot wait to get the discussion started and engage the community. I really hope you guys enjoyed. It's kind of all over the place, just facts, talking, and a bunch of stuff. And I will see you guys. Well, I forgot to say thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.